Hey guys, I'm Oddfire. Um This is Uncharted 2 All Treasures. Um, if you watched Shots Fired last year, then Matt did any percent. Um, so if you saw that, then you'll probably have an idea of the kind of run this is and like what to expect in terms of glitches and skips. Um, it's pretty similar, um, but there are quite a few differences, which we'll get into as the run goes. Um, so feel free to ask any questions, um, there'll probably be a lot of stuff happening so if I miss anything then just like put it in chat and I'll try to keep an eye out for that. Um, so yeah, let's just get into it. So uh, new game, I'm not going to keep treasures obviously, I'm going to do a continuous speed run on easy. Um, I'll use a save file, uh, I'll use you. That's just in case the game crashes, um, but hopefully it doesn't. This game isn't prone to crashing, so it uh, should be okay. Oh wait, okay. Um, I meant to count you down for the time. I'll do that again, sorry. New game, new speedrun, easy. So yeah, we'll just restart the timer, I guess. So the reason we're playing on easy is because there's no treasures on Explorer, for some reason. Um, ah, damn it, I thought there was a... Okay, that's fine. Okay, timing starts <laughs> when I skip the cutscene. I'll count you down for that, sorry about that. Okay, I'll just I'll just continue then, I guess. That's fine. Okay, uh th three, two, one, and go. So, um chapter one, this is basically like a tutorial chapter. Um we're climbing this train, the game's introducing us to the platforming mechanics, so we're just going to move upwards onto the, onto the carriage. <laughs> Sorry, Hecky. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, we're just moving up through the carriage. Um, here you can do a bit of jumping. Um, that was semi-fast because you can do two jumps there, but I only did one. That's okay though. Just going to neutral jump up here. So I should probably talk a bit about the treasures in this game. Uh, there are 101 in total. Um, why not 100 you might ask? Uh, that would be a nice round number but there is an extra treasure which is kind of special. It's called the Strange Relic. Um, and that's in chapter 5. Um, I'll point it out when we get there. But that's actually a... it's an easter egg. So yeah that one's a bit special. Um, in terms of the treasures and where they're located, um, compared to Uncharted 1, they're more well hidden and also like they're more well hidden than the treasures in UT3 as well. Naughty Dog uh, placed them in like more, um, more like discrete spots, so they're a bit harder to, to find and some of them you have to shoot down as well. Here we're going to do a glitch, we're going to actually climb on top of the train carriage um, the game wants us to go through it, but we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to get some height by climbing up there, and now we're going to jump along here. Uh, that's okay. I wanted to go on the right-hand side, but that's fine. We're using inspect mode because the camera's kind of bogged out. That is the first treasure. Um, if you are playing casually, then it's quite easy to spot, but if you're doing this glitch, then it's not so simple. Um, and the camera's kind of bugged out here, so it's kind of tricky to tell where you where you are. But anyway, we're making our way through here. By doing that glitch where you climb on top of the train, we have a faster movement speed here as well. So in glitchless, you'd have to roll around here to get the faster speed. Um, but here we can we can just like blind fire, and, uh, and it's pretty quick. So as I said, some of the treasures you have to shoot down. 
Um, this one is the first one that you have to shoot down. Um, I should also mention that when I'm collecting treasures, uh, you want to roll, if possible, to get them, because that avoids an animation where you have to like manually pick them up. So if you're rolling, you're still keeping some movement speed. I'm gonna drop down here. Is that gonna kill me? No, that's fine. If you if you roll down at the wrong angle, then you can die there anyway. So I'm gonna blind fire here, and now there's an explosion cutscene. Yeah, Nate's not doing so good. Ouch. <laughs> um, so now there's going to be a cutscene, um, and to skip cutscenes I'm mashing triangle. Because um, what that does is it gets you into the pause menu pretty quickly. Um, and the good thing about triangle is that once you're in the pause menu, um, if you press triangle nothing happens, so you don't un unpause by accident. Uh, here we're going to jump onto that ledge. That's an okay jump. There are faster ways to do that, but I'm just playing a bit safe. I'm gonna jump back here. And the last treasure in this chapter is right here. So that was five treasures in this chapter. There are ten in the next one. Um, the game wants us to go forwards, but we can actually jump on top of the train, potentially. That's yeah, there we go. This is a bit quicker because there's another like animation if you uh if you jump uh like sure you know if you keep going forward, that is. Uh now we're gonna meet Flynn. So this is Flynn. For now he's on our side, but he betrays us, spoilers. Um he's also very annoying when it comes to climbing because he will um he will knock you out of the way and then you'll fall. So I'm gonna steer clear of him. Play this a bit safe. Oh wait. This can't be right. We must have made a wrong turn somewhere. Your story experience? Yeah. Hey, the um the NPCs in in this game Biggest are very brutal when it comes to uh climbing. Yeah. They'll knock you out of uh, of where you're okay. climbing and then you in fall like to your Flynn, death a lot of the right? time. What? In like Flynn. I don't get it. Uh, I should probably Just explain some of the movement tech as well. So as you saw back there. I was jumping around, and that's quicker than the normal running animation. Um, there are a few other ways that you can get a faster animation. So, if you have a gun, then you can blind fire, and that's uh, that's also quicker. Um, there isn't really any difference between blind firing and uh, jumping, but generally blind firing is preferred because you have more control over where Nate's going. Also, when you're in combat, there's this thing called combat speed. Uh, where you naturally get a faster running animation. So we're going to use that wherever possible. Here we're going to do checkpoint restart. Because I'm using a save file, um, the checkpoint restarts will take a little longer, but that's okay. Um, so the point of that checkpoint restart was to speed Flynn up so that he um, he gets boosted up a bit quicker. But there are a few different reasons that you'd want to checkpoint restart in this run. Um, some of them are to like move you forwards right. this is the way through the a level. Um, there's also like some RNG manipulation, uh, also some ammo manipulation where you well, can get extra ammo way. if you checkpoint we're restart. We're That's useful for some fights. All right. uh, what else? You got it. Also, some See, for some strats as well. You want to checkpoint restart to get them consistent. Um, here we're going to knock Flynn out of the way and going to checkpoint restart here to get ourselves up here. Now we're going to jump across um, and we're going to jump to the right. That should be okay. Yep. So normally you would um, you would have to do a climbing section but that uh, we skipped that by doing that jump. Also there I did a photo mode trick um, where you skip an animation um, well a cutscene at the window if you roll at the right spot and then it's enter locked. photo mode. Good so you see the there. door on the screen here. We're going to clip through that and we're going to use Flynn to do that. Uh, hopefully I get it. This is kind of tricky, but I have been able to get it consistently recently, so I'll just need to listen out. Okay, that wasn't it. That's fine. I'll do the backup. 
Uh, we just need to get Flynn. It should be okay. There we go. Okay, so we can clip through the door. Uh, now we're going to vault over cover and we're going to use inspect mode um, to be able to jump straight away. So Flynn isn't following us, but we're going to checkpoint restart in a bit to get him with us. Also, uh, we're going to do some fisty cuffs on these guys because we don't have a gun yet. But spoilers, we do get a gun later in this chapter. So after this cutscene, as soon as we can move again, we're going to do another checkpoint restart. And that's going to get Flynn to us. There he is. Um, going to stealth kill this guard. Come up here. Okay, that's fine. Going to grab that. Get rid of this guy. Flynn takes care of that guard. And now we're into another cutscene. Okay. We should be able to lift this up. Sneak right under. Whoa! Whoa! Not so fast. There's another alarm. Nice Tetris piece, Richard. <laughs> So yeah, uh, we're just going to climb up here and then disarm this, um, this security box. Okay, it's off. Uh, for this next part, we are going to get a treasure and then we're going to checkpoint restart to put ourselves back and then we're going to get through the area stealthily. Um, yeah. <laughs> Nathan Drake really is a psychopath. Wow. <laughs> He has a bit of a conscience in this okay, chapter, okay. not so much in, in later chapters, but Hurry in this on. chapter he doesn't, he doesn't really want to kill anyone. But Easy. that is arguably true. <laughs> Gravy roll. Okay, so we're just gonna come over here. Grab that treasure, that's number 10. Checkpoint restart. Okay, that's good. I got noticed by one guard, uh, that's okay, because that freezes the um, the other guards which are meant to come up the stairs. Uh, okay, there's kind of sloppy movement, but that's fine. If a flashlight gets, um, gets lit up here, then um, the guards will spot you, and that's bad. Okay, now we've got um, a gun, but this is a tranquilizer gun, so it's... Uh, non-lethal at this point. I'm going to climb up here Man, and then onto here. The game wants you to um, to push that carriage with Lin, but you don't have to do that. So we're going to be climbing up there once Lin gets this rope set up. Did you just break the museum guard's neck? Well, I won't question it if you won't. There's going to be a guard that comes to the door. He's really nice. He always says hi to us. Hey. hey. Okay, going to climb up here. Pay attention to this treasure, by the way. It's going to be a chess piece. Yep, it's, uh, it's a knight. That will be important in a second. I'm gonna clip through here and then jump across. That's another glitch you can do. It skips a cutscene. So if you look at that sign over there, what do you know? It's the same treasure. So we, we stole one of the exhibitions. There's also another sign over there as well with the chess piece. I think that's kind of cool. And, oh hey Finn, where'd you come from? As soon as we can move again, we are going to checkpoint restart. 
and we're going to climb up here so that Flynn goes down there and when he grabs um, his rope then we'll check when we start again and the rope will already be set up for us like so uh, we have to go around this wall to get another treasure and then we'll checkpoint restart again a lot of checkpoint restarts in this chapter you need to be careful there because you can fall off pretty quickly um, pay attention to this joke as well, it's pretty funny Ah, uh, that never gets old. <laughs> yeah, great view. I can see your house. Let's get moving. So, a bit more on the movement tech this in this game. Um, you can actually cancel rolls with um, by pressing aim or by holding um, so like that. It, by pressing aim or by holding inspect mode, and that's useful because. Um, the rolling animation is slower than regular running. Uh, I'm gonna get to take care of that guard, and then, okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, more on the movement tech. Uh, if you're going upstairs, then you want to roll upstairs and then jump. So if you roll jump, then that's the fastest way to get upstairs. If you're going downstairs, then you want to jump. That's the fastest. Let me get some cardio in. Okay. We're clear. Ladies first. Ah, <laughs> cute. So at this point, Friend's gonna betray us and we're gonna have to make our way out of the uh, out of the museum by ourselves. Grab that treasure. Gonna roll here. Um, if if uh, an enemy has got a laser sight pointed at you, you can roll to uh, get the laser sight off you. So gonna do some roll cancels here. Um, so chapter 3 is coming up pretty soon, um, that's when we get the journal. Most of the glitches in this game involve the journal feature because that breaks the game completely. Um, I'll explain that more when we get there. I'm going to roll to get this treasure, that's quicker. We're almost out, it's the light at the end of the tunnel so to speak. Except it's not really, we get caught and we get put in jail for a few months, but we're out again because Sally bails us out. So as I said, blind fire is um, also quicker than the normal running animation, so I was doing a combination of jumping and blind fire there. First one set, don't touch the button. This one? Uh, here we've got a treasure coming up that we have to shoot down. Uh, gonna go onto this log. Okay, that's fine. If I can aim, that would be great. Uh, you could get treasures, that would also be great. It's <laughs> fine. Um, so yeah, to conserve ammo, I'm not gonna blind fire here because there's a fight coming up. So we're just gonna jump around. So I might as well s start explaining the uh, uh, the glitches that involve the journal feature. So if you are on a ledge and you get a stagger animation, you can use the momentum from that stagger to get some height. Uh, I want the ammo. So the pistol that we've got right now isn't the best um, for uh, for combat, but it's, it's the only thing we have currently, so let's make the most of it. So as I said before, if you're on a, on 
the edge of a ledge, you can uh, get some height. Uh, no, that wouldn't work. Like that, if you use the journal feature. So, yeah, as I said, the journal just breaks the game completely, and you can do a lot of uh, cool tech with that. I'm going to climb up here and do another journal launch. Uh, okay, cool, that's fine. Uh, normally you'd have to climb around to the left to get up here, but you can get here quickly with uh, with the book launch. Gonna go back down and then climb up, climb up around. You can also use the journal um, to to levitate off the ground if you walk off an edge. This is kind of scary, so uh, this might not work. Mm, I'm not sure. Okay, it works. That was kind of sketchy, but that's okay. Um, and the journal can also be used to do some zips. I don't usually do this zip, but I'll show it off. Um, well, I'll, I'll try and do it, just to show off the concept. Yeah, so that didn't work, but the idea is that you can go around corners. Um, I'll just do it the normal way. So yeah, there's a lot of tech there. Um, with the journal feature, you can also do stuff like airwalks, um, but there aren't any in this chapter. The first airwalk in this run um, happens in chapter 5. We're in chapter 3 right now. Almost to chapter 4. Nineteen. It's fine. Okay, there's another book launch coming up here to skip a cutscene at the start of chapter 4. So if we get up onto this rock and we're at the right position, a bit further back, we can book launch up here, um, then go onto this tree, and then jump down. Doing some roll cancels here to speed it up. Uh, there's a treasure up here on this mast. I have to shoot the one down. And do another book launch to get out of this area. Uh, will that work? Mm, that won't work. That was the wrong angle. That's fine. Uh, okay, that won't work either. Uh, this one's a bit awkward. Okay, that should be fine. Okay, I'm going to make use of some blind fire, um, and I'm going to reload after every shot, um, because that will conserve some ammo. We don't really need that, but I'd rather not waste ammo, because I'm stingy like that. It does help in uh, in later in the game, so that is used like later on as well. So we're running up some stairs, uh, now we're just running here. And we get met up with Chloe. So Chloe was with us in chapter 2, but we didn't really see her. She was only in the cutscenes. Um, but she's a companion. She's kind of a double agent. She's working with uh, the bad guys as well, but she's um, secretly working for us also. Okay, you're going to go underground. Um, the place that we were just at outside, that's um, where we would uh, do an air walk in any percent. Uh, but we have to get two treasures underground here, so we're not going to do that airwalk. Um, so normally the game wants you to uh, find like a torch and then you have to like follow a trail of blood, but you can just do this instead and climb over that rubble. And now we're going to skip the cutscene. Uh, treasure up here. Get that. Uh, sorry, please. Okay. We can actually get ahead of Chloe, but I don't think we're going to do that. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do that right now. Go out make sure the but it is possible to do that. Okay, now I'm going to skip a cutscene. 
And we're almost into chapter 5. We're all cancelled there. Uh, this guy's a bit annoying. You have to like juke him to the left. But he can get in your way at times. And jump over here. And say goodbye to Sully guys because we don't see him until the end of the game. That's all we've got for Sully. Uh, now for chapter 5. This is the chapter with the strange relic that I talked about earlier. Uh, but for now we're going to avoid this truck. We have to blind fire at it, otherwise it does run us over. Um, I jump down the stairs and then roll once the truck hits the ground and then that skips a little animation um, and we can get straight into this cutscene. Um, so I should probably explain how airwalks work because the first airwalk is in this chapter. Um, if you select the journal feature while you're in the animation to change weapons, then that soft locks the character. Um, so you're basically stuck. If you do, um, if you press journal while you're moving forward and you switch weapons, then you're stuck in the animation to move forward, um, and that doesn't take into account whether there's any ground below you, so you can do airwalks like that. Uh, okay. Rude. He's not meant to hit you, but that's okay. Um, so, you might be thinking, if you're soft locked, how is this useful? Uh, well, you can unsoft lock yourself if you've got a grenade. So, if you take damage from the grenade, then that um, breaks you out of the walking animation and that's how we uh okay uh, i'm doing a okay that one that didn't work you meant to lose some height there but that's fine we'll just redo that so yeah basically for that you need to lose some height otherwise nate will jump and then it'll be too high and he'll fall to his death that mm, i don't know i don't think that will work we'll see yeah, so that was what I was talking about. Uh, I'm, I'm aiming it a bit far right, so I should probably aim a bit further left. That's okay. Yeah, that's more like what I wanted to do. There we go. Some enemies here, we're just going to ignore for now. Gonna grab this treasure and then checkpoint restart is number 23. That's a strange relic you saw right there. So that is an easter egg to Jack and Daxter, which is also made by Naughty Dog. I'm gonna jump around here. Stealth kill this guy, um, but we'll get notice, that's fine. We need that Uzi. Because the Uzi is really good for combat, um, it just melts through people, as we'll see in a sec. So see how quickly these guys died, because the Uzi is really, really good. Uh, now we should have to kill only like two or three more people, and then Chloe will come and save us any second now. There we go. Okay, time for a new, new skip. This was only found like a week ago, if that. Uh, by Hey French, he's found quite a few of the skips in in this route, but Matt's done most of the routing for this. So we're going to book launch up here, then we're going to do the first air walk, uh, and this is going to go pretty quickly. So I'll try and explain the best I can. Going to aim at that building. That building isn't loaded in yet, so we're going to start the air walk. Aim the grenade to the right, enter photo mode, turn it back so that the camera loads the building in. That grenade breaks us out of the airwalk, and now we're on this building. Um, gonna aim at that fire, maybe a bit further left. Mm, it should be okay. Uh, yeah, it should be okay, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm actually not sure about this. I'll let it go, but mm, we'll see. Maybe I aimed a bit too far left. Don't know if this one will work. Yeah, this won't work. 
That's okay. We'll do it again. So the reason I was entering photo mode is because the um, the building that you land. Hello, Nate. Are you serious? The building that you land the grenade on it isn't loaded in yet. So we're using the camera um, to load that building in. Otherwise, the grenade would just fall through normally. And there's also a chance that you can get stuck in that building. Uh, this one here. I should also mention that when you enter photo mode, you automatically release um, a grenade if you're holding one. Uh, I'll aim a bit further right this time. Wait, is that too far right? <laughs> I might get stuck on the sign here, but we'll see. I'm not sure. Mm. You can see the treasure off to the side there. Okay. We just about made it. That's good. Gonna aim that grenade there. Oh wow, that was very close. I almost f fell off there. Uh, so glad I didn't fall off, because that would have been bad. Um, treasure here. Gonna blind fire a bit, and then do a general extend here. Um, also, another thing about playing on easy is that you can't throw grenades too close to yourself. Right. Gonna grab this checkpoint. So, so if you We're throw a grenade um, and it's um, it's like right next to you, then that will kill you on easy. On explorer, that wouldn't kill you because you have 50% extra health. Um, so any percent is a lot easier in that regard because you can throw grenades like basically at your feet and. That will break you out of airwalks and you won't die. Um, but so all treasures isn't, isn't as forgiving. Um, we're just going to do an airwalk here. This one's pretty difficult. Uh, it's a bit too slow. Yeah. So this airwalk is very specific. So if you do it too quickly, then you get stuck. If you do it too slowly, then you also get stuck. That might be okay. I think that's okay. Um, also, you can get stuck in the floor. Yeah, this should be fine. So, we're gonna throw that grenade, that'll break us out of the airwalk. Now we're in the hotel. That skips quite a bit of the game. Okay, when I say quite a bit, not not that much. Uh, like, maybe like a few minutes. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go up here, grab this treasure. Okay, these enemies aren't usually over here, so it's kind of weird that they're this close. But that's fine. I'll grab this ammo, there's two guys gonna come down here. Just gonna get rid of them. Okay, now we've got a checkpoint, so we're gonna grab a treasure and then checkpoint restart. So, as you can see, um, after I ch grab a treasure and checkpoint restart, I'm um, pressing pause and then unpausing again. Um, that's the quickest way to get into a checkpoint restart. So here we're doing another air walk. This one takes a bit of time, but it's it's okay. We'll uh, we'll get there eventually. And here we can look around the city. It's pretty well made. Uh, it's a nice view, isn't it? Especially the mountainside as well. It's pretty scenic. Anyway, so we're gonna end up over here. And I'm gonna throw the grenade. Uh, that should be okay. I'm gonna load in Chloe. There she is. Gonna get rid of those guys. Uh, gonna pause here for a sec so the area is fully loaded in. Yeah, this game has got the Tibetan levels. Uh, those are chapter like. 15 onwards. Gonna use the Uzi here. It's okay. Gonna grab some ammo. So now this building is gonna fall down in a sec. Um, yeah, I'm in the wrong place. There we are. 
they're going to be three enemies that come in through the ceiling. Um, so we're just going to take those out. Number one, number two, grab this guy's ammo, number three there. So we need to be careful about this furniture because it will kill you if you're too close to it. So it's, It sounds funny until it happens in a run and then it's just sad at that point. Um, but yeah, we made it through. That's fine. <laughs> we were we were almost in that. <laughs> so if you're doing any percent um, and you do chapter five to six skip, then this building is where you end up from the start of chapter five. So as you can see, um, in any percent we skip a lot of the game, um, but we have to get treasures in in this category, so we can't do that. Two enemies will come in through here. Just gonna get rid of them. A bridge, sweet. Yeah, tell me about it. The resistance fight is built instead of the river. Lucky for us. It's gonna blind fire across here. Uh, treasure number twenty-nine is over here, and this is the last one in this chapter. I'm gonna jump down here. Now the game wants you to do a um, a fight with a helicopter, but we don't really have time for that. We're just gonna head out. I'm gonna climb up onto this thing and then jump across. Yeah, this game is very well made. <laughs> so that bridge, you're only meant to be able to lower down. Um, at the end of the fight, once it's finished, but you can actually climb up onto it and then jump across like I did. Ouch. Yeah, Nate should not be able to survive that. Um, so the helicopter is still like active, so it's still shooting at us, but because this is easy it's not a problem really. Also another nice thing about doing that skip is that we have combat speed, so we can move around a bit quicker here. Not that that makes much of a difference. Also that's a pretty big jump. And now we're into chapter 7. We'll see about that. So we're reunited with Elena, we met her in the oh, last game, oh, hello. Um, and she's with a cameraman Jeff, uh, so we're just going to be with them for a bit. Uh, treasure in there. Let me grab that. Mm, do I want that guy's easy ammo? Nah, I think we're okay. Uh, I might as well get the ammo while we're here. Okay, so you know how I did a zip in chapter f chapter three. Uh, it wasn't a successful one, but I still like attempted one to show you the concept. Well, you can actually combine zips with airwalks. Um, and also book crunches with airwalks um, in order to get airwalks which go really quickly like this gonna hit a checkpoint once we hit the stairs uh, we're gonna go back to get a treasure that we uh, that we need to get here number 32 the checkpoint restart to place ourselves back at the fight um, I'm going to take this fight a bit safe because this fight has uh, given me a bit of trouble recently. Okay, going to take out these guys and there's a heavy that spawns in here. Going to get rid of him. And now I'm going to go up this pipe. Here you can um, you can only walk or um, so over there you can only walk or roll and rolling is quicker so we did a roll there. Um, once we hit the ground here we can checkpoint restart and that places us at the bottom of the stairs. Um, in any percent you can do a zip air walk here to get um, into the temple quicker but we need to get this treasure so we can't do that zip. Okay, another treasure at the start of this chapter. Need to make our way up here. You don't think they're a couple, do you? You're not a couple. 
I'm gonna get a spoon here, and then checkpoint restart again. Place ourselves back here. So we're gonna get a few grenades. Um, those will be useful for some more airwalks coming up. For now, we have to do a bit of climbing though. Um, I'm gonna climb up here. And then from here you can easily get up here. On, the game wants you to climb around, but you don't have to do that. So we can do an airwalk here. There is actually a faster airwalk you can do. You can do a zip airwalk to that place directly. Um, but that's kind of dodgy and I don't really want to do that. Because I'm not that great at that. Now we're going to jump across here. Okay, That's kind of slow, but that's whatever. It's not a big deal. God, you're lucky. Um, so this this chapter has the first like major puzzle. So oh, okay, that's fine. Okay, that's cool. Um, that's kind of tricky, but that's fine. So yeah, um, moving those arms is basically one big environmental puzzle. Um, the puzzles in this game are like kind of large scale compared to the ones in Uncharted 1. Um, and yeah, for the, for this one we had to move three of the arms into the right position. What is this? Chloe, this isn't just a dagger. It's a key. It's a key, of course it's a key. It's always a key, isn't it? Let's find out what it opens. Uh, pretty creepy, but they are. Yeah, this game has a kind of weird sense of humor at times, but that's part of the charm, I guess. There, I'd do anything. The water's going down. And I found the door it opens. We've done it. Well, as soon as that dialogue appears, we get a checkpoint. So we're going to checkpoint restart, and that places us over here. Ladies first. If you say so. So in this next part, we're going to do a lot of blind firing to get through the area pretty quickly. And I'll be reloading after every shot to conserve ammo. Because there is a fight happening afterwards. You never were a chocolate and flower kind of girl. Probably. A little bit of a drop. Okay, coming up, uh, we're gonna trigger a um, a trap in the floor, but we're not gonna go into the trap like this. Um, so the game wants us to be in that trap. Is that too close? Okay, that's fine. Um, and there is a there is a treasure in the room where the trap is, um, but we're going to skip that and we'll come back to that later in the next chapter. Okay, that's not okay. <laughs> oh well. Um, so you know how I said you can combine like zips with airwalks. You can also combine book launches with airwalks as well to get height while you're doing airwalks. So that was like the hotel airwalk, which I um, I did in chapter six. This one usually doesn't give me many problems, but it's kind of tricky at times. Are you serious? Really? Yeah, the timing is kind of, uh, kind of tricky. Also, if Chloe falls in there, then it will trigger her death if you don't do the trap. So you need to make sure she doesn't fall in. Okay, that's better. So we're going to skip climbing up the dagger um, by coming over here. Uh, that should be okay. 
I'm gonna fall off this guy onto his eyebrow and what do you know that does the puzzle for us as soon as we can move again we're gonna checkpoint restart also if you don't do that then Chloe is stuck and she doesn't um, activate a few of the things that we need to do um, for the for the rest of the chapter so we need to do that checkpoint restart There's a treasure at the end of this path. Hello, Nate. Can we... There we go. Okay. Chloe. Gonna move this reflector. Adjust the other reflector. Uh, that should be fine. Nice work. There is a visual cue for um, when you know, like, the possession... the... Uh, Reflector is in the right position. That did it. Yeah, Ross, uh, this game is very broken. There are a lot of uh, glitches you can do in this game, so it's pretty good to speedrun, but it's pretty uh, difficult. And no worries, Brad. Got it. I wish you luck with the work. Okay, so now we do have to climb up this stagger. There isn't a walk you can do to avoid having to climb up but I've never done it and it's kind of tricky it doesn't save a lot of time so we're just gonna cl climb up instead and we have to be really careful here because it's really easy to fall off gonna blind fire to speed that up just shoot that eye out and then reload and that gives us some ammo back you see one more glitch than you see one, yeah. So there are more glitches in you see two. Um, I have to shoot this treasure down. This one can bug out, so I wasn't moving while it um, while it was falling down in order to like avoid it bugging out. So yeah, you see one has aim clipping, which is a very broken mechanic as well. Um, but that's like basically the only glitch you do in any percent. There is also like doing shimmy covers and uh, uh, there are a few other things but it's not as broken I would say. How do vertical airwalks work? So when you're on a ledge you can do book launches uh, to get height. Um, you combine that with airwalking so you need to set up the timing pretty specifically. Here we're going to do a cover clip, so we're um, we're clipping through that cover by going into waist high cover, and then sorry, I'll come back to your explanation with uh, vertical air walks. Um, so yeah, for ship for uh, cover clips, if you get into waist high cover and then you move left or right and then move back, then you can clip into the cover. So here we're going to do a fight for this chapter. Um, so yeah, coming back to vertical airwalks, if you combine a book launch with an airwalk so that you time it such that you get the stagger animation in the middle of the airwalk. Actually, I want that and I want the AK. So this is the trap room and this is the treasure that we missed earlier but we're getting it now. we we'll roll up those stairs. This isn't an awful lot of uh, ammo, so I'll use the AK for this guy. So I'll re-chat in a sec. Just need to focus with uh, this fight, because it's very easy to die here. Signal that guy. Hey Matt, thanks for the good luck, dude. Would you recommend Uncharted 1 or 2? Um, if you're starting out, then I'd recommend you see 1 at any percent. 
um, because that's easier to learn and it's shorter. Uncharted 2 has a lot of like difficult glitches. Um, I do definitely recommend um, if you're interested that you give it a go at some point. Um, but for starting out, probably Uncharted 1 is better. I'm gonna avoid this guy. Uh, hopefully he doesn't kill us, that would be unfortunate. Okay, we're good. Uh, I'll use the... So the pistol that we've got now, the 92 fs that's really good. Uh, where's this guy? Uh, is he dead? What? Did they kill him? Uh, I actually have no idea where he is. Okay, it looks like they killed him. It's weird. Um, so this is this chapter is basically just an escorting chapter. We're just going through and uh, making sure Jeff is okay. Maybe he, Jeff will live this time. Fingers crossed. Still waiting for the day that Jeff survives. Um, but yeah, you'd think that there aren't any strats here, but you can actually aim every five seconds or so. And what that does is it avoids a stagger animation, um, so it's quicker to, to aim every 5 seconds or so than it is to get that stagger. I'm going to checkpoint restart here to uh, get Elena in ahead of us. Elena's going to open this door in a second now. We can ignore that guy, Chloe takes care of him. This glass is going to break any second now. And we need Elena to open another door, so we're going to wait on her. Okay, moment of truth, will just survive? Let's find out. Well, it looks like he didn't survive. Rip. Rip Jeff. F in chat. Jeff was a good man. He'll be remembered. Um, anyway, so now we're just uh, running away from the bad guys. Pretty intense uh, chase sequence. Uh, we're going to roll here um, to avoid a slow jumping animation. I'm going to climb across. And we need to help Elena up. Elena, come on, you gotta jump. Imagine having so much trust in a guy that you're willing to like jump potentially to your death. Anyway, now we're in chapter 12. Okay, that's good RNG. If you get bad RNG, that guy on the left, uh, he um. You'll get in your way and then you get spotted earlier. I'm gonna kill these guys. Grab this treasure. Excuse me. What the hell? Okay, that's fine. Um, so the game wants us to boost the laner up, but we're gonna do something else. We're gonna do a book launch up here. Mm, that wasn't great, but it will work. I'm gonna get over here. There's a treasure up here. Grab that treasure. Uh, now we're gonna do, do an air walk. We're gonna get up onto this box to make it easier, um, because you can get stuck on some stuff if you don't get if you don't go onto that box. Uh, that should be okay. And now we are gonna go over here for another treasure. Uh, here we go. Gonna climb up this ladder and into a cutscene. And Elena's gonna go off by herself over there. We're gonna head this way instead. Uh, checkpoint restart. And that will place us at the bottom. 
And coming up is uh, treasure number 42. I'm going to grab that and then checkpoint restart again. That will place us back here so we can quickly open the, this door. I'm blind firing here um, because that helps speed this bit up. It would be nice if you could do a book launch here to get up onto this part a bit quicker, but you can't do that because the game doesn't let you use the journal here for some reason. When you're in um, combat, the game like turns the journal feature off, usually. There are, there are one or two exceptions, I think, um, but usually that's the case, so it's like the game thinks we're in combat. Um, this jump is a bit sketchy, but we made it. I died there yesterday when I was practicing. Yeah, Chloe is with the bad guys now. Um, we're trying to rescue her, which is why we've come over here. And that did not go to plan. Yep. Not too much attention. Just a bit of attention. Uh, so we only need to kill certain enemies here. So the shotgun guys and the guys with the orange hats who have the Uzis. So, gonna get rid of those guys. So this part is dependent on the snipers, the sooner they spawn, the sooner you can um, get to the next stage of the fight. Uh, there he is. Um, as you can see I'm switching between weapons and that helps to cancel reloading. So you can shoot quicker like that. I'm going to wait here for a bit. Um, the prompt for inspect mode will show up in a second and then Elena will come through in the jeep and we're going to run to the jeep in a few seconds. Inspect mode, jeep. Okay, we need to roll to avoid dying because there are some snipers. And that hits the trigger and now we're on the train. So this chapter is really good if you're playing casually. If you're speedrunning um, and you're doing any percent it's also pretty good because you get a break because you can do train skip. Um, but when you're doing all treasures and glitchless you're not so lucky it's very annoying. Um, I guess I'll explain train skip um, because we'll be doing the same concept later in the run. Um, hello? Nick? Okay. Um, so the way train skip works is you get onto a piece of waist high cover at the start of the um, chapter and from that waist high cover you shimmy off and that derails you from the train um, but you don't die. What happens instead is you stay levitating on the ground, uh, not on the ground, like you stay levitating anyway um, and the train is on a loop so when the train eventually comes back to to the point that you're at while you're levitating then you hit the trigger for the end of the chapter um, actually the train is two chapters so it's you're skipping two chapters basically with train skip but we don't do that in this uh, category okay here we're gonna come here we're gonna stick to the right because that will stop us from getting spotted gonna go out through here if you get spotted then a turret starts firing at you and that is kind of dangerous. You can die pretty quickly. So we're just going to avoid combat where we can. The reason I said that this um, this part is annoying when you're speedrunning is because you can fall off very easily. And obviously that's uh, some time loss so we don't want to do that. going to avoid that. There's a treasure over here. This is the last treasure for this chapter. That crunch though. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, those um those overhead signs, they uh take care of um 
some of the enemies which uh, spawn up there. And we have to be wary of uh, these signs as well, because they'll kill us. And we're okay. Okay, now there are a few enemies. I'm just gonna blind fire at them. With okay, we don't have an Uzi. I wanna get this guy's Uzi. Okay, it's fine. No, I want the Uzi. Uh, now we're gonna enter a cutscene. Um, so, not only do we have a train to deal with now, we have the helicopter as well. So, this is where it gets really intense. Um, yeah, I'm going to jump onto the next carriage. Um, jumping is like the fastest way to move in this train. So, we're going to jump where possible. I'm going to get rid of these guys. Uh, I'm going to ignore that guy for now. The sign will take care of him. Uh, we should be able to make it before that sign comes. There we go. On this carriage we get combat speed for some reason, I don't know why, like you never get combat speed anywhere else on the train. Ah, this is bad. Okay, I need to be careful here, because there are a lot of people shooting at me. Um, yeah, I'm gonna chill for a sec. If you die, the checkpoint is really far back, so I prefer not to do that. This is taking its time, okay great. Okay, we need to use the RPG. If you don't use the RPG on the helicopter, then it will kill you while you're doing that, um, while you're pulling that door um, open. And now we're into chapter 14. I'm gonna grab this uh, Wes, because it's pretty good, it's a one-shot kill. I'm gonna use it on the first few guys in this chapter and then grab their weapons. Uh, okay, cool, that's fine. There is a treasure in this carriage, so gonna go along it. The overhead signs will get rid of a few of the enemies, hopefully. That shotgun guy is very dangerous, so we wanna get rid of him. Uh, now we're gonna shoot this lock off then get into this carriage and the last treasure in this chapter is at the end of this carriage. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna do a cover clip here, you don't have to do this but it's a bit fancy. Okay cool. I'm gonna try one more time. Okay I can't, I can't move in cover, that's fine. We'll just do this normally. I'm gonna checkpoint restart here to avoid a cutscene. Now we're outside. It's getting a bit chilly here. Uh, this part is kind of sketchy because there are quite a lot of enemies and some of them have shotguns and will kill you. Uh, okay, I'm dead. <laughs> I am definitely dead. Uh, okay, that guy made me drop off. Yellow! Okay, I'm gonna die. Gonna die, 100% dead. Yep. Yellow did not work. If you get stuck in melee combat, that's really annoying, because it's kind of slow, number one, and also it does a lot of damage. Like, it does more damage than bullets, which is, it just doesn't make any sense, but it is what it is. Am I dead again? Uh, okay, we're okay.
Yeah, this is on easy. Normal speedruns are on Explorer, but you can't do all treasures on Explorer. So easy is the only well, it's it's the best difficulty to do it to do it on. In Uncharted 4 and Lost Legacy, I think you can do um, you can do all treasures on the easiest difficulties, but not in the Nathan Drake collection. Uh, now we have to take care of this helicopter, so we're just going to concentrate some turret fire on it. Okay, that's pretty good RNG. Um, it didn't fire any rockets at us, so that's useful. If it fires rockets, then there's a chance that you have to shoot them. Okay, there's a guy here. Wait, did he die? Yeah, he did die. I'm going to grab his AK for a strat that we're going to do now. Okay, I'm going to throw a few grenades at this guy. Um, unload an AK into his head. Grab the M4, unload the M4 into his head. Somehow this guy is still standing, but just won't question it. His helmet should be off now. Now we're gonna do some more melee. And the end of the chapter is coming up in a sec. And cutscene in 3, 2, 1. And now we're back at the beginning. So, chapter 15, at least the first half of it, is the same as as chapter 1, except there are a few differences. So, as you can see, some of the camera angles are going to be a bit different. So here we're climbing to the right, um, in chapter 1 we're climbing to the left. Um, also, some of the dialogue he does is different. Uh, you can also jump here, which you can't do in chapter 1. So yeah, if you pay attention to some of the dialogue, then it will be uh, different to what we saw in chapter 1. I think that's the same though. Also another difference is that you don't have to do the inside of this uh, carriage. Um, you were supposed to be get put uh, out here. What else could go wrong? You climb up this pipe. So tired of climbing shit. Um, so in chapter one, we did the train glitch where we climbed on top of it. But we need to trigger the um, the cutscene at the end of uh, the sequence, so we need to go through the train this time. Also, if you saw, um, Nate was jumping towards the camera um, when when we were going through that train. Um, but in chapter one, if you go through the carriage, then he's jumping away from the camera. So that's another place where the camera angle is a bit different. Train skip sips this as well? No, so the train skip um, takes you to the end of chapter 14 and then you get placed right there at the start of this chapter. <laughs> nice joke, Ross. Okay, so we've got a fight coming up here. I'm gonna take out that guy, grab his M4. Jump here, there's a treasure here. There's two more treasures to get in this uh, arena. Kill this guy. We're not going to take his Uzi. Can grab that. Kill that guy. Uh, a bit late on these guys, but it's okay. Going to use the pistol on them because it's good for long range.
Okay, as soon as we see a guy, uh, we're gonna throw a grenade there. And the last treasure is over here. We're gonna take care of this, these remaining guys. So that grenade took out most of the guys that come through. Now there are three heavies in this area. There we go. Okay, you can headshot this guy. Uh, throw a grenade at these guys. Uh, don't kill me, please. That would be unfortunate. Can we headshot? Okay. This is going to be a bit slow, but that's fine. Okay, now we're in a Tibetan village. There are yaks everywhere, you can pet them. You can also do a glitch here where you, um, where if you use inspect mode, you can actually roll. Uh, and the game like doesn't normally let you do that, um, so it's faster than the normal walking animation. So we're going to be doing that throughout this chapter. Just making our way through here. It's really peaceful. It's a nice, um, it's a nice break to all the uh, intense stuff that's been happening so far. This game has very good pacing. I'm gonna climb up this ladder and up here. Roll there, and there's another treasure to get here. It's very quiet over here. Uh, you can actually jump up these stairs. I see you two hiding. Oh yeah, and as I said, you can pet the axe as well. There's actually an achievement if you pet all the axe in uh, in the village. I think it's called beast mode. Okay, cutscene, we're going to skip that. And now we're in chapter 17. Um, so if we're doing any percent, there is a glitch that you can do here that launches you to the end of chapter 17. It's called chapter 17 skip. Um, but that's very difficult and it's very inconsistent. So only two runs in the leaderboard have that glitch. Um, basically no one else does it because you you'd need you need to get that to get like world record and combine that with a really good run so it's it's really difficult to do um so most runs yeah, will luck, just go through the it's chapter normally oh, nice. in any in uh, all treasures we can't do that anyway because we have to get the uh, six treasures in this chapter <laughs> funny you asked that ross um Hey French, who is um, another runner of this game, um, he he does yak percent runs, um, but just casually. There is no um, official yak percent category. It would be a nice meme category though. And hey Frippin, how you doing? So this chapter is a lot of um, platforming and Looks just like uh, environmental puzzles, I guess. Uh, not even on this category this extension. No, we don't have category extension boards for Uncharted. The most recent um, like new boards which got added um, are for trilogy runs. Um, so if you do Uncharted 1, 2 and 3 back to back, um, then you can submit that as a trilogy run on the trilogy boards. We've actually got quite a few runners for that, so it's, uh, it's pretty nice. I've got one run up there, but that's an All Treasures trilogy run. Uh, Palmer did a uh, glitchless, uh, glitchless trilogy run, so I promised him that if he finished one, then I'd do All Treasures trilogy. So, yeah, we've both got our runs up there. But all the other runs are any percent. Yeah. 
We need to be careful here um, with a lot of the climbing because Tenzin will knock you off and you'll fall to your death if uh, hey, you're not careful. Hello? Like over here coming up, you don't want Tenzin to knock you off. Uh, is he going to knock me off? No. Okay, we're good. Hey Tenzin, where do you come from? Shintamani stone. Must have been one of Shaper's men. Okay, here we're going to come over here. Uh, there's a glitch you can do here where you don't need Tenzin to boost you up. Um, but I haven't got that ever. And it's kind of finicky, I've heard. So we're just going to get Tenzin to boost us up. I think I've climbed across here. There's another treasure coming up as well. Over here. And here we need to be a bit careful so we don't fall off. Um, yeah, I'm going to take this a little bit slower. And there we go. You can skip a little bit of climbing by doing that. Come on, I'll catch you. There you go. You owe me one, pal. Who did say? Okay, this next rope is really annoying because um, for some reason uh, the developers made it so that when you jump onto the rope you're really high up on on it um and you can't you can't make yourself go like lower so you have to jump off it a lot sooner than you'd expect okay we're even catch him muscle not yet yeah there's a bit more walking around Oh no, whatever could that be? What the hell was that? Oh no, the poor wolves, they're all dead. Rip. What did this? This, what did this? F for the wolves. Yeah, come on. Tenzin, we gotta get moving. This part is pretty dark, so you need to be careful not to fall off here. Do you like that jump scare? So that's the first clue that something is happening here, which isn't quite normal. So um, all the uh, Uncharted games up to Uncharted 4 have like a supernatural element to them. Um, in Uncharted 1 there was the curse of El Dorado, which um, turned people into monsters. Um, in this game it's the Chintamani stone, which like gives people like immortality. Um, in Uncharted 3, it's like uh, right here we are. There we go. Um, in Uncharted 3, it's like a hallucinogenic agent. Um, spoilers. Welcome back, Brad. It's going okay. You have to blind fire there. Oh no, it's a yeti. Well, I, g I bet we have to fight that and kill it. Um, whatever will we do? Well, we have to shoot it once to get it off Tenzin. Um, but we don't actually have to do the fight. We can just skip it like that. So the yeti's still there. The game thinks we're still 
in that combat scenario, so we've got combat speed, but we don't actually have to do the fight. Um, in glitchless, you would have to. Okay, that's fine. You get a checkpoint when uh, when you shoot that thing down. Yeah, it's not quite what I wanted to do, but that's fine also. So we don't have combat speed now, but we can do another trick. We can do a general extend here. As soon as the timer on the top right resets, we're going to checkpoint restart because we're in chapter 18 now. There are another six uh, treasures to get in this chapter. On that other switch. Unch Uncharted 3 is some weird shit. Yeah, it is kind of uh, kind of forced and a bit weird. Hey Rock, how are you doing yeah. dude? So if you don't know, um, Rock in the Mental also um, speedruns Uncharted. Um, he does Uncharted 1 any percent speedruns. Um, and he was also doing a run for Shots Fired. Um, I helped commentate him, uh, well his run. Um, so if you want to check out the VOD, I'd highly recommend that. Uh, okay. So we did a photo mode trick there to um, stop the um, the f the heads from falling down, um, and also to be able to climb up quicker. We're going to do a book launch here. Okay, we haven't got a checkpoint yet, so we need to be really careful on these cylinders because they will kill us if we're not careful. Okay, I'm going to take this slow, um, and I don't want to die, so we're just going to just going to be chill. I'm not going to take any undue risks. Okay, I need to jump across, so okay, fine. No, Nate. Okay. Okay, I'm taking this really slowly because I really don't want to die, because I did die here yesterday in my uh, practice run. Okay, grabbing this treasure, and then we can jump across, uh, the game will let us, we can jump across, the game won't let us, that's great. Okay, cool, that's fine, could have done that like 10 seconds earlier, but whatever. Those um, cylinders are very annoying and very uh, awkward to climb across. Uh, this gear is normally moving, but because we did the book launch we haven't got a checkpoint yet. Um, and now we've got a checkpoint, and we need to restart checkpoint here. Um, otherwise, you can't get past that gear because we need this one to be moving. Yeah, even when you're playing casually, it's very annoying um, getting past those cylinders. I think I died there in my glitch this run as well. So kind of tragic. Okay, you're gonna drop down here. Jump across. Uh, okay, so there's a treasure there. This rope is a bit awkward, but that's okay. Okay, cool. Another treasure here. We'll climb up. Climb onto this. Come across here. And we can climb up here. We don't have to go onto that so on onto that gear. Even though the game wants us to. All these elaborate puzzles, uh, which were constructed thousands of years ago. Those ancient pe people, they knew what they were doing. Uh, no, this isn't on PC, this is on PS4. Um, Uncharted is only, like, it's a, it's a Sony exclusive. Um, it is on PS3, the original games came out on PS3. Um, I'm playing the remastered version on PS4. Ok, 
Okay, so more platforming here. I'm gonna climb up, climb fire once for some speed. I'm gonna jump across to this platform. Uh, if we turn ourselves there, we can climb up here. And that skips a bit of climbing as well. Okay, we need to go to the top of this gear. Because there is a treasure over there. You can see it there shining. I'm going to jump back across here. Okay, this isn't where I wanted to land up. Okay, that's fine. This next treasure is really weird. You have to shoot it down even though you should be able to get it because it's right next to you. But that's just a weird one you have to shoot down. Okay, now I'm going to do some more glitches. I'm going to do a general extend here. Um, once you climb up we can checkpoint restart. I'm going to try the fast strat once. If it doesn't work, I'll just do the normal slower strat. So the fast strat here is to do some more book launches. And jump across to where Tenzin just was. Avoid that button, because if you press that, then bad things happen. I'm going to jump onto this arm and this arm. Okay, cool. I messed it up. <laughs> That's fine, we'll just do it normally. See if you can spot where the next treasure is. It's in a very interesting location. Don Chalet! Who <laughs> loves London? Okay, well, it's over there at the top of that crown. I don't think you could actually see it. I was looking out for it and I couldn't spot it. So, I guess that's not one you can see easily. Okay, here we're going to do an air walk because we have a long gun. So we can switch weapons to enter an air walk. Okay, that's good. This one needs to be pretty quick upwards, so you need to hit that and then that triggers the cutscene there. So that airwalk skips having to pull the um, that lever and then waiting for the um, for this uh, platform to drop down. There's a Yeti here. We don't have to shoot it for a while. For a while. Okay, now we need to do three shots into it. One, two, three, and it's gone. Another cutscene's coming up, which we have to skip. Okay, and now we're in chapter 19. I'm going to blind fire at this guy because he's annoying. Okay, now we're going to kill the heavy. Okay, and that gives us a checkpoint. That was kind of messy, but whatever. I'm going to blind fire at this guy because he's also annoying. The AK is kind of like a pea shooter. It doesn't really do a lot of damage. It's much better to have the M4, so I'm going to grab an M4 off that guy. Got this guy. 
Uh, don't die to this guy. Okay, don't die to the turret either. Okay, we made it to the checkpoint. Nice. Okay, yeah, there's a guy up top, that's fine. Why did I get this close? This is a bad idea. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. So yeah, this part is pretty straightforward on Explorer, but easy is a bit more difficult. Because the shotgun guys do way more damage to you. No, get in view. Okay, cool. Now we're just waiting for Tenzin to open the door. Okay, I'm gonna get up here. Jump over here, grab this treasure. There's another treasure in this chapter as well. I don't have a lot of ammo, so I might have to restart the checkpoint for, for this bit. Mm, I need more ammo. That's uh, pretty much. Uh, I'll just use the grenade launcher, why not? Uh, lost guys there. Okay, I should get the checkpoint now. Okay, cool. Just gonna waste that shot so we can blind fire in here. Speeds us up a bit. And we'll get a new weapon at the end of this cutscene. Okay, we need to kill those guys to get Tenzin uh, to move quicker. We need him to open that door. So now we're getting chased by a tank in this chapter. At the end of the chapter we're going to destroy the tank. Uh, okay. There we go. The Uzi is so good at just melting through people, so... We're going to use that as much as possible. Treasure in over here. This way. I'm going to have to kill the shotgun guy because he's always on the stairs. I'm going to roll up. Roll up again. Here. Yeah, Nate should not survive any of this, <laughs> but here we are, this is an Uncharted game, he survives ridiculous stuff all the time. Okay. We're gonna kill this next guy and then checkpoint restart again, and that speeds up Tenzin. So as you can see Tenzin, ha Tenzin is ahead of us. We kill that guy, grab the Z samples. Some more platforming here. We have to wait until Tenzin jumps across, otherwise we um, we can't we can't bolt over that. <laughs> that's true, Kirby. Okay, another treasure there. That was unfortunate that I took that damage. But that, what can you do? Where the hell 
did he go? Hi, Deku. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna jump across here. The second last treasure in the chapter there. There's one more treasure to get. So, the game wants you to follow Tenzin, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to go this way because it's a bit quicker. In any percent, you'd go like all the way straight to. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, you go all the way up there. But we need to get a treasure that's over here. So, we're going to come this way. Okay, I need to stop doing that. I do that all the time. Grab this treasure. That's the last one in this chapter. We need to take out that RPG guy because he's very dangerous. Okay, good. And now we're going to use the- oh, wait, I need to get the RPG actually. I've never seen it fall down here before, that's weird. Okay, I'm going to come across here. Hopefully we don't die, that would be unfortunate. Okay, that was very unfortunate. He just threw- he just- uh, that's actually annoying. He shot that straight at his, himself. Like, what kind of intelligent AI would, would ever do that? Uh, excuse me. What the hell? Uh, am I dead? I am definitely dead. Once you die, this part becomes a lot harder, so if you can get it first try, that's preferable. I should have got that in four. It's okay. Could you not? Could you just not? Nah, I'm gonna show here for a sec. Okay, let's go. Actually, I'm gonna kill these guys here. Okay, I'm just going to kill the RPG guy because he's the main threat. Get rid of you. Uh, we need a few more RPG shots, so we're going to grab that. Take cover. Going to reload cancel by switching. And that's a dead tank. Okay, so this is an auto scroller. We're just going to um, make our way the convoy. Um, there aren't any treasures to get in this chapter. Yeah, we're just going to be jumping across. So yeah, when um, when the trucks get hit by the um, by the turret gun, then you have to change to a, to another truck. And th this part is all scripted. As I said, it's an auto scroller, essentially. You can also shoot the guys um, on those. Uh, Mini guns. I'm gonna jump down and then checkpoint restart. Actually, it was probably quicker not to checkpoint restart, but whatever. If you're not using a save file, it's definitely quicker to checkpoint restart there. So you can hit the environment here as well. Um, you need to make sure that this uh, truck doesn't kill Elena, but the other trucks are just optional. Like you don't need to shoot any of these, I don't think.
There's another big truck coming here. And the end of the chapter is coming up any second now. And skip cutscene. Hey coach, how are you doing? Thanks for the good luck. So this is chapter 2. If you're playing this glitchless, then this is definitely the longest chapter. There's a, There are a lot of fights in this chapter and quite a bit of platforming as well. But we're gonna skip most of them. Almost there. You got it? By doing a few airwalks. Come on. There are also quite a few uh, treasures to get in this chapter. There are eight in total. No, no, I was talking about the mountain. First trick really? is jumping here. That avoids like a slow uh, shimming animation. The last never gonna kill this guy. The treasure of up here that we have to shoot down. I'm gonna take this guy's pistol and this guy's ammo as well. I'd have liked a bit more uh, M4 ammo because I wanted to kill one of the other guys, but that's okay. Alright, see you, Risha. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, uh, so this fight is very scripted. We're gonna kill these three guys in this order. Then there is this guy who comes through. We're gonna kill him as well. We kill this guy. Kill this guy first. Kill that heavy. Kill that sniper and one more guy, just to be safe. Okay, now we're gonna get another treasure. And we're gonna checkpoint restart. And that places us over here. We're gonna jump across here. Don't worry about the turret, it's fine. We're gonna kill these three guys. We're gonna grab this shotgun. Take out these guys. Uh, don't die, that would be bad. Okay, we need to take that guy out. I would like his deagle, but that's okay. We're just gonna skip that. Uh, I saw him over there. There's a shotgun guy in here. We need to be careful for him. There he is. Now that he's gone, we can just like go have on these guys. We need to get this grenade as well. So. I was picking up grenades at certain points um, in this fight. It's important that we have three at the end, um, well at least three at the end, because uh, we need to do a few airwalks like I said. So I'm using this turret because it's pretty quick and efficient at taking these guys out. Uh, there's one more heavy I think, there he is. This last heavy is always a bit annoying to kill because he's usually in bad positions. I'm gonna roll here and we should be able to pick up that treasure. Normally you'd have to be able to climb around, but you can just do that instead. I'm gonna aim there, then do an air walk. If you touch that mountain to the left, then that's a death barrier, so you wanna avoid that. You can also see that treasure over there. Once we hit this red wall, I'm going to checkpoint restart. That places us up here. Now I'm going to jump across. Roll off the edge. Get that treasure, that's number 77, good. And roll up these stairs and equip the M4. And then do journal extend. Come up here. So that skips uh, a bit of climbing and it means that we can get up here and do an air walk from here across to there. So we're going to skip a few fights here by doing this. 
Mm, we need to be careful where we place this grenade. It should be okay. Okay, that was a bit close. If I had gone any further uh, with that airwalk, then I probably wouldn't have got hit by the grenade. But that's okay. So, yeah, now we're up here. We've got one more treasure to get in this area. This jump is, like, very sketchy. Um, but you can make it if you, like, jump at the last second. You have to do that casually as well. So, this treasure is kind of a, a tricky one to get. How would you find treasures casually? Just by exploring, I guess. Exploring the environment, just having a look around. Um, so we need to get back up, um, back up onto the top floor. So we're going to do a book launch here. I'm going to grab this grenade just for insurance and also for a new strat that we're going to do later in chapter 23. It's, uh, it's good to have as many grenades as possible. And do some more blind firing to speed ourselves up. Blind fire across here. Okay, now I'm going to do a zip hair walk. This one's fancy, if I get it right. Okay, it should be okay. Pause buffer so that the floor loads in. Pause. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And we're here. Okay, cool. So we still haven't got a checkpoint, so if I fail this next air walk, then we're gonna go back quite a long way. Do a general extend here, and then grab onto this ledge. There are a lot of ledges that you can grab onto unintentionally, but some of them have uses, um, which is good for speedrunning. Uh, okay, so that's bad. I have to throw that grenade because I messed up the airwalk, but it's okay. We'll just deal with that later. Um, yeah, it's not a massive deal. Oh, this is bad. Okay, that's fine. We saved it. I was way too high. Normally you're not that high, but I threw the grenade closer to myself than I usually would. There's also a new strat here, but I'm not going to do it, just for marathon safety. I want to be on the other side. Uh, Nate, can we... Okay, there we go. Okay, Elaine is here, so we can checkpoint restart. That gets us over here. So now we do have a checkpoint, so we don't have to stress anymore. Uh, we have to do this fight. So we're going to take out these guys. I should really use the pistol here. I don't know why I don't use the pistol. I'm going to kill that guy because he's got a shot. Uh, I mean, okay, cool. That guy is very dangerous. He's got a shotgun and he will kill us. Okay. Now we need to shoot this treasure down. That's the last one in this chapter. Gonna grab it. And we're gonna make our way to chapter 23. Okay, not bad. <laughs> you never use pistol, eh? Yeah, it's not the most useful gun in this run, I guess. Okay. Uh, okay, cool. I wanted that grenade. But he picked up the pistol and said, uh, I also want that grenade. No, I want the. Oh, this is bad. This is really, really bad. This is. Wait, where is. Dude, this is so bad. Where is the. There's a deagle. Where is the deagle? Are you actually serious? Okay, I guess I have to do this little deagle. He picked up the, um, yeah, okay, this isn't going well, but whatever. 
I might die here. Uh, okay, cool. Just gonna chill for a sec. When this guy comes through, we're gonna use the RPG. I'm gonna use another RPG on this guy. I'm gonna get rid of him. Oh, that guy. And that's the end of the fight. That was very messy, but at least I didn't die. So, I guess that's that. Let's get that cutscene. So we're gonna do, we're gonna do a journal extend here, and we're gonna grab a treasure and then jump. So that skips having to go onto that rope over there. So that's kind of a nice trick. No, Nate, can we? Okay. Okay, a lot of this chapter is uh, skipping fights, but we're not going to do many airwalks. Actually, that's a lie. We are going to do a few airwalks, but none to skip any fights. Like we did in uh, chapter 22. So this fight, we're just going to skip by just running to the end. If you play this casually, then you might know that there's a treasure in this area. Um, we have thought about that. We're going to get it at the end um, of this chapter. So we do come back here later and that's one of the instances where we're gonna backtrack and then get something later um, to save time um, to save time now I don't think so. so there's another treasure here and then we're gonna do a shimmy cover so the shimmy cover that we're gonna do now it's the same concept as uh, the train skip in any percent that I explained while we were on the train we're gonna get into waist high cover and then we're going to shimmy across the left and then this is going to clip us through through the wall ah, it's, it's okay um, none of the guys can get us over here, they can't come this far so it, this is perfectly safe to do It does take a little bit of time, but it's uh, faster than doing the fight, I'm pretty sure. I think if you have like a god tier fight, then uh, it's like the same speed as doing this. So it's just better to do this. Because also if you do the fight, um, then you run out of ammo, then you have, to, um, you have to drop down and then climb back around. And that's a lot slower, because uh, there's a lot of extra climbing there because you have to take out everyone in that um, area if you want to do the fight. And here we are. Nate is just glitching out there. And then we get a checkpoint. Short loading screen. Nate. Uh, shoot that treasure down. On that one can bug out, so I didn't move until it had fully yeah. dropped. I probably should have warned you about them. Okay, there's a new strat coming up here. Wait. So this is a new strat that Hey French and I uh, found together. You can book launch up here. I'm uh, going to aim at that spot. And do an air walk. Throw that grenade. And that knocks down the treasure and it skips the cutscene as well. There is another way to skip the cutscene um, if you do a really good uh, book launch. Then you can get up onto the ledge where the cutscene happens, but you um, you go past the point where the cutscene where the cutscene um, is triggered. But this is an alternative way of doing the uh, the cutscene skip. You have to roll off there and then grab that treasure. 
Okay, now for this airwalk, this is another zip airwalk, and this one's kind of difficult because the timing is, well, not the timing, but the placement is very specific. I think I got it. Yeah, this is good. Okay, good. Um, if you do that zip airwalk and you're going too far, like you're not going at the right angle, then it will, uh, it, it, you'll hit a death barrier and then obviously you have to do that again. So that one's kind of difficult. I'm gonna shoot that treasure down, grab that. I'm gonna try this the safe way. Um, we're gonna do an air walk from up here. You can do it from below, but it's easier if you do it here. Okay, there we go. It's fine. Okay, we use that ribbon to uh, see where we're going. Is that gonna kill me? No, we're fine. Okay. Okay, everything's fine. It's actually a pretty, uh, pretty good uh, chapter 23, barring the fight at the start. Uh, shoot this treasure down, and then we have to climb up and... Uh, no, please don't do that, Nate. Okay, grab that grenade launcher. That'll be useful in a sec when we go to the next fight. Okay, we have to climb up here, and from here we should be able to get the treasure, like so. Okay, we're going to trigger a wave of enemies. You have to kill one, and then we're going to do a cover clip. And this this is going to skip the fight. Uh, if I can do the cover clip, that'd be great. There we go. We keep that. We keep the camera pointed to the right to avoid this area from deloading. Then we're just running across these rooftops, jumping here, and then falling down. Then when Elena appears, you can try point restart. And we're at this point. I'm gonna grab this treasure and then checkpoint restart again. Get down. Okay, so we've dealt with those three guys. They're repelling down that wall. Okay. And now a few guys will come in through here. Actually I want an M4 for later. Uh, okay, we need to kill that guy. Thanks for the rope, boys. Hope there's nothing scary at the top. All right, it's all clear. Come on. Okay, so this is the area that we're backtrack uh, that we're backtracking to um, that I talked about earlier. Uh, we're going to checkpoint where we start to get Elena close to us because this next part depends on when where, where Elena is. So we need her to speed up. Making our way down here, and we're, close, I know it. we're gonna be in chapter 24 soon. There's some doors up here. I need your help. Okay. So there's a puzzle here, you have to make sure all the daggers are facing downwards. So we're gonna move that dagger and then get this treasure. And then this is the other dagger that you have to move. Okay, skip that cutscene. Now we're with Flynn again, because we got caught by Lazarevich. Gonna grab that treasure, then jump over here. So the rest of this chapter is mostly just uh, some platforming with Flynn. Hold on, wait for me. Daddy's got a gun. If you try to uh, melee Flynn, then the first time you try to hit him, he'll uh, he'll give you a warning not to do it again, and then the second time, he'll kill you. Oh, look out! It's a stone throw. Sorry. So you don't have to the you don't actually have to go up onto that stone. Go, sweet up. Get ahead of me. Gonna keep going here. You better not be leading me into a dead end. Through here. I don't think you're gonna get your stomach through there. The banter between uh, Flynn and Nate is one of the best things about this game as well. 
It's pretty funny. Help me move this. Aye, aye. Nice pun. <laughs> good teamwork. Just like the good old days, eh? I'm gonna jump across here. It's fine. It doesn't actually save any time to jump across, but I don't want to shimmy. Who cares? We just have to get up high. Clutch stone ends, isn't it? No. Help me push this. Definitely not like Stonehenge. <laughs> Come on, girly girl. There you go. Statue of your mom. Okay, let's not fall off. That'd be great. Hope you can make that jump on your own. I sure as hell am not gonna help you. Okay, the last treasure in this chapter is right here. You can do it. I can still help, still help. And we need to wait for Flynn. Once we get through this door, there is another puzzle to do. I should also mention that the puzzles in this game, um, for most of them, the solutions are hidden away in Nate's uh, journal. And see, the game is uh, telling us to use the journal right now. But, of course, we're speedrunning, so we know the solution already. This one's pretty easy. You just move that one once to the right, and then this one twice to the right. And then on the other side, we need to move the middle one once to the right as well. Okay, nice jump. Such a little book, such a big sandwich. What's that? Just came out the pool. Come on, make yourself useful. Cheers, Brad. No worries, mate. Have a good day, my dude. Gonna skip this cutscene. So now there are a bunch of yetis in this area. Okay, we're gonna head back. If I get this cover clip, then great. If not, then we'll just do it the normal way. Okay, nice, we got it. So, because we're in the ground here, this yeti doesn't know what to do. It just freaks out. And it's just running into us. Also, we have infinite ammo in this spot. Yeah, he's just freaking out. He just, he just doesn't know what to do with his, with his life. In about... 15 seconds or so, it's going to be a cut, another cutscene, and then we're going to be into chapter 25, which is the penultimate chapter. And... skip cutscene. So it turns out that those yetis were actually these uh, big blue guys, who um, we're going to see in a bit. They're shooting uh, crossbows at us right now. But yeah, the Yetis weren't real. They were just people in uh, costumes. Yeah, that's one of the blue guys. We'll grab the M4. We'll kill this guy. Also, we have infinite ammo in this part as well. You can also shoot Elena and Chloe here. Okay. We need to get the hell out of here now. I couldn't sleep for two. Roll cancel there. Roll cancel again. Alright, let's go. 
And let's get this cutscene. Okay, so the are gonna spawn in. Well, the blue guy is gonna spawn in. We're gonna get uh, that grenade. I'm gonna throw two grenades there. It's gonna take care of that guy. I'm gonna grab his crossbow because the crossbow is really good at taking out these guys. Uh, where's the next one? There he is. He's gonna drop down. Gonna kill him. Grab his ammo. Uh, can we shoot that guy? Okay, I think we got him. Uh, I want this grenade as well, so I'm just gonna get that. Okay, cool. That was a pretty decent fight. Okay, treasure up here. I'm gonna shoot down. Uh, we're gonna do a journal extend to get over there. How long is this one if you don't skip the cutscenes? Uh, I actually don't know how long the cutscenes are in total. Okay, when we reach this point, we're going to checkpoint restart to uh, make sure that the next trick is consistent. Because there was there's um, this trick coming up, which always gave me a lot of trouble because uh, I can never get a first try. But I didn't know that the secret is to checkpoint restart there, so now we should be good. I'm going to clip through there. That's not the trick I was talking about. Um, by clipping through there, we're going to get into this area. And the game thinks we're not supposed to be here, so the next area is, isn't loaded in. Gonna roll and get that ammo and those grenades. Uh, okay, it's fine. Have that treasure. So as you can see, there's no d there's no uh, door over there. There's normally a door here that you have to unlock and jump, enter photo mode, uh, turn it around. So by entering photo mode, we're letting the area load in. So now we're here. And there would normally be some fights in these areas, um, but because we're doing the skip, uh, the enemies don't spawn in. Grab that treasure. An hour and a half. Okay, cool. That's about what I'd what I would expect um, for the cutscenes. Gonna do a book of lunch here. There's another treasure up here. Don't fall down. Okay, that's fine. I'll just do the book of lunch again. Small time waste, but it's okay. It's nothing catastrophic. Okay, so the part that always gave me trouble is uh, coming up. It's another photo mode um, pause buffer to load in an area. And because we checkpoint restarted, the area should load in consistently now. So I'm going to jump at the last possible second, enter photo mode, turn it around. And we're good. Okay, nice. There we go. Okay, cool. Oh, shit. Get down. I'm gonna checkpoint restart here as well. Get down. You don't have to do that, but I'm just doing it. Just anyway. Okay. So to deal with that heavy, I'm gonna blow up that sap and that sap and throw two grenades at him. Gonna kill that guy as well. Oh, that guy's not there. Okay, now he's dead. Uh, he's definitely dead, but he's just taking a while to die. Can kill that guy. Ooh, this is kind of sketchy. I'm gonna grab the crossbow. Um, there is a treasure in this chapter, so I'm gonna grab that. Okay, now we're gonna use the crossbow to kill these guys. Okay, nice miss. Oh no, he's doing the glitch. Mm, I died here yesterday. Can we not do this again? I'd really like not to die here. That'd be great. 
Okay, I missed that. So. Uh, this is really slow, but is there a crossfire here? I swear there's a crossfire. Hmm, I might have to use the Gao. Yeah, I'll use the minigun. Actually, they're a bit close. So I'm not gonna use the minigun. Okay. This is a speedrun, <laughs> but it's just taking a bit of time because these guys are very annoying. Okay, cool. Uh, kill that guy. Kill that guy. Gonna get the minigun again. Wait, where's the last guy? He's there. Okay, cool. Uh, now I'm gonna take the RPG, that'll be useful later. Okay, we got there eventually. <laughs> At least I didn't die. Okay, the penultimate treasure is there. Gonna shoot it down. Uh, gonna make our way up these stairs. These are a. a this is a long set of stairs. So, there's a bit of walking here. And there's one more treasure. This is the last treasure coming up. I should have 101 after getting this one. And it's 101. Nice. So I didn't miss any. That's good. Grab this. Get those grenades. It's the RPG. I'm gonna throw a few grenades. Kill that guy, and we're good. And now we're into chapter 26. So this is the last chapter of the game. There's a boss battle, and then there's a bit of uh, there's a bit of running to avoid death. So we're going to use grenades and the explosive sap to deal with him. So get a few headshots and then blow up the sap. And now we're in stage uh, three. So you need to do that four times. Oh, this is bad. He's he's not meant to blow up that sap. That's okay. We'll just use this uh, sap inside. Just need to get him a bit close. Also, when he goes into this... Oh, also, this is this. <laughs> it's such a meme. Love it. Uh, there should be a grenade here. Okay, cool. That's the fight done. The end of the game is uh, coming up very shortly, if we can make our way across this bridge without dying. <laughs> this happens all the time um, to Nate, where everything's just falling around him and he has to like make his way out. Especially like in the ending chapters of uh, Uncharted 2 and Uncharted 3 as well. Okay, checkpoint restart. Time is coming up very shortly once I kill this guy. So it should be time now. And that's the game done. Oh my god, I got a PB. No way. PB by 23 seconds. Cool. Cheers, guys. Thanks for all the GGs, and uh, thanks everyone for watching as well. Chat's been really good, and it's been pretty fun. Um, stream time was a bit off. Okay, no worries. It's close to PB at least, so I'm happy with that. Um, and yeah, thanks for all the restreamers and all the other runners as well. Shoutouts to them. 
It's been a really good marathon. It's been so much fun to watch and be a part of. Um, thanks also to Matt. He's uh, especially important to this run because Matt, Matt was the one who originally like rooted this uh, this category, and um, the route hasn't really changed significantly. So it's mostly like his strats that I've been using, with a few additions like from French and my own strats. Um, so yeah, huge shout outs to him, and also for like running this marathon essentially, and uh, all the other restreamers as well. It's been pretty cool. Uh, because there's quite a lot of my uh, estimate left, I guess I'll let the cutscene play because this is good. It's a, it's a good ending cutscene. I'll just mute my mic for a bit. So, it's been a long, strange trip, hasn't it? Yes, it has. <laughs> you know, you should play the hero more often. It suits you. Nah. Tell me something, Nate. What? Do you love her? Chloe, I'm sorry. No, it's fine. Really, it's all right. Just do yourself a favor, cowboy. Tell her. No. My turn to walk away. But admit it. You're gonna miss this ass. <laughs> well, look who's not supposed to be out of bed. Yeah, she's a lousy patient. Stubborn as all hell. I'm not stubborn, I'm just restless. <laughs> <laughs> so, no giant sapphire. Once again, no. <laughs> and you're sure of that? Yes. Just a metaphor, I'm afraid. Metaphor ain't gonna pay your bills, kid. Well, something else will come along. Just gotta have faith. Yeah. That and a quarter will get you 25 cents. <laughs> uh, which way'd Chloe go? See you later. Oh, no. <laughs> You're a dirty old man, Sullivan. Uh-huh. You did good, Nate. I think he'd approve. Yeah. Uh -huh. So where do we go from here, huh? I don't know. I haven't thought that far ahead. Of course not. <laughs> but then again, neither have I. Good. So, on a scale of one to ten, how scared were you that I was gonna die? Four. Four? Yeah, why? A four. four. Yeah. You were at least an eight. An eight? You were a total eight. An eight? Those guardian things were an eight. Are you kidding me? Yeah, those were terrifying. What's a ten? Clowns. Clowns over my death? I, I clowns. hate clowns. I hate clowns. Oh, my word. You thought I was dead. No. No, you thought I was no, gone. No. Yes, you did. No, I, I saw had you, you all shed along. tears. Yeah. You shed a bunch of them. Tears? Mm -hmm. It was raining. No, it was not. <laughs> you were unconscious and it was raining. It was totally sunny out and you were bawling. <sighs> it wasn't sunny. You were unconscious. Whatever. I kept your tears in a jar. You fruit. I'll give you five. How's that? Okay, guys. Thanks so much 